How's it going, everybody? Today we're checking out Left to Suffer Feral. Yeah, I mean, dude, Left to Suffer has been blowing up like crazy lately, especially the last year or so. I mean, there's been a lot of talk about him. Taylor Barber's been everywhere. He's been doing tons of features, doing tons of stuff. You know, I see him all the time on Instagram posts and stuff. Seems like a really nice dude, really funny dude. Um, so I'm really excited to check this out. I have heard some of their stuff, and I've also seen them live. I saw them with Carnifex on their um, Dead in My Arms tour. I believe that's the album. Um, I actually just reacted to Crown Magnetar as well, so it's kind of fitting because they were also on that tour. Uh, both insanely talented bands. It's really, really fun watching them. Um, and yeah, like Taylor Barber, like I had said with, um, I believe it's Dan Tucker of Crown Magnetar. Both of them, they both put on such great shows. They have a lot of energy. Um, holy shit. But yeah, this makes me really excited to check this out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, so before I start this, um, I listened to this entire album without realizing that my screen capture wasn't on at all the entire time. So uh, basically, get fucked. But <laughs> I'm just going to listen to this again because this is a really sick album. And I'm sure there's a million things I missed. So we're just going to have fun with it. But uh, yeah, let's get back into this. Crashing down around me Glitched in my head And I feel like I am watching Drowning. Love that wind up into the scream But I'm still breathing With the knife out of my back Fully forever Stretching forever My mind said to attack Here we are Look how haunting the chorus is, you know? It's got a beautiful, clean voice. I'm loving like the kind of darko feel to this too. That's both of the barbers, <laughs> Tom Barber and Taylor Barber, you know? Uh -huh. Trying to figure out what that chorus is reminding me of. Can't think of it. Of my world crashing down around me. It's in my head, and I feel like I am. Gotta have the panic alarm. Man, what the fuck? No lyrics. Spotify slacking. Versus. 
Love that almost like shoegazy lead. Very spooky. <laughs> There's like a theme for this album. logo is stupid hard. <laughs> the Jonathan Davis just corn. Never gets old. I heard a lot of people talking about this track. It's really hard for me to avoid it because it's everywhere. I want to save it for this album. Yeah, I really love how they've experimented with the different like layers and stuff in this album since I've listened to it once now. Um, a lot of really cool stuff like that little guitar part, the electronics, like the synths, then symphonic elements coming up here. We got Joe Bad from Fit for an Autopsy. Let's fucking go! It actually kind of feels like new Chelsea Grin. Little bit. Again with the barbers. <laughs> Darko, Chelsea Grin. Spoken word down such a Oh, 
love the groove. Gets, gets me headbanging. <laughs> Ironically, this feels more like fit for an autopsy than the last track did. Well, not the whole time. Love that line. Flying every day with depression. Size answers depression. this track is too. You can die for yourself and not pass on a person on It's time for 
Feels a bit Commandy's last breath. Ambience. What's this tune? The the stupidest like drop fart, whatever. From the first listen, I think this was my favorite track overall. I might change that though. I love those fast machine noises. <laughs> Full baby J. Feels like the gloom in the corner a little bit. 
from the latest album. I mean, Chiller Barber was on it. Yeah, the energy is just like unmatched. Base moment. And it leads to me. I rage. Spin out. Watch what you're turning out. As if you know the people you have need to talk about. This seems so trivial yet effortless. Pray for words for another innocence. This feeling isn't going away. My life now is broken. I wish I left it unspoken. You left me. Correct. I think this is like my favorite part of this whole album. Very make them suffer. You can say that for a few different parts of this album, I think. Make them suffer, let them suffer. They go on the limb distraction route. Oh, yeah. See it correct, I think this is my favorite track. Especially on second listen. One minute you're vibing, the next just fighting for survival. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh my god. So, Left to Suffer, Feral. Yeah, I mean, this was a really, really fun album. I mean, it's only 25 minutes and 9 seconds, but it's very action packed. There's a lot to unpack here. And um, there's a lot of different styles that they used. I noticed it wasn't just one style the entire time which i really enjoyed like there was different elements that they kind of played around with um there's times where like the synth had a lot more say in it um you had some symphonic elements like in primitive urge you had times there was more like an ambient guitar lead going over you know more like that uh kind of like what they do in prog metalcore you know invent animate currents things like that um i love the variety 
And uh, speaking of variety, Taylor Barber's vocals, that is like the definition of variety. Dude can do so many different things, and he does it very, very well. Um, his clean singing is great. I love the layering that he did with his clean vocals along with his screams. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, there's a lot of really fun, catchy choruses as well. It was I mean, you had the really pissed off choruses too. You know, I mean, it is a lot to suffer. But you did have some nice, catchy choruses as well, especially in, like, Consistent Suffering. Um, I do believe... I believe Feral as well, like, the first and last song. Um, I'm probably forgetting some other parts as well, with it being only my second listen now, which... You know, it's pretty unfortunate that my first listen um, didn't pan out with the recording, because I wish that would have just been the one I went with. Because I was like, yo, holy shit! <laughs> no, I mean, my reaction was pretty, pretty close to what I hid with my second one. I mean, there's a lot of things I didn't fully remember so i was like oh 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 shit okay <laughs> you know so i hope um i hope this didn't feel too disingenuous uh watching it if i do i apologize i i hope this doesn't happen again it probably will knowing me it was a total it was a human error type thing uh so my bad but uh yeah going back to this album this album was really really fun to listen to like i said um yeah i mean i don't really know what else to say i mean there's a lot of experimentation uh, I mean, the vocals killed it. The the drums are really cool. There's a lot of different parts where I feel like it like subverted my expectations. I was like, oh, oh shit, okay, we're we're going here now. That's cool. Um, and then you know, like the bass. There's some thick bass parts every now and then, especially you know for a band like this. I don't expect the bass to be like the number one thing. I mean, most bands, you know, the bass is kind of just holding its own. But um, there's a few parts where it stuck out, so I'm happy with that. And uh, the guitars. I mean. What do I have to say about the guitars? They're fantastic. I mean, I was mentioning leads, like, every song, so I, I think that answers that question. But, uh, yeah, if I were to rate this album out of 10, I think, because I've been looking at my album uh, rankings and stuff lately, because, you know, they change every now and then, I kind of move stuff around, and I've been trying to kind of balance them out a little bit more, because I noticed that when I first started doing the rankings, I was giving albums really high ratings, and I just didn't fully agree with it after listening to the album a few more times, even though I still love those albums. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, it feels like maybe I'm going overboard, you know. But this album, I think I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I think that is where I'm keeping it, because this was just a very action-packed, fun listen. Um, I really, I, I don't have any complaints with this. I think, if anything, my ranking's probably going to go up, because, like, this is just a really, really solid album. And I could see a lot of other bands, um, you know, I don't know if I would say, like, taking, you know, a ton of, uh, like, inspiration from the album or anything, but, like, well, I don't know, maybe they will. Who knows? That's the beauty of music. You never know what albums are really going to inspire the next set of musicians or the current set of musicians to move towards a new sound. But, uh, yeah, what did you guys think about this album? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment down below. If you have any recommendations, leave that down below as well. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, you guys take it easy.